This is Donna from Remax Legacy Group, and this is the house at 8909 Kentucky Highway 581 at River, Kentucky. It's a beautiful Jim Walters home. I think it's built in 1996. Don't hold me to that, but I don't have the paperwork here in front of me. But anyway, there's the front of the house. It does not have any mailbox or house numbers on it. But here is your yard. There's a little building that goes to it. There's your street view. And here is what is in front of the house. And then there's your street view the other way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you around the side of the house and get you all sides of it. This, your yard goes out to about right there. And there is the pool that the liner is bad in it and my contractor is right now gone out to try to get a cover to go over it and the other wash on the outside but it's very very cold out here right now so it's not a good time to do that but anyway you've got one acre with this and i assume that means the uh river bank and all and I, this is in the flood zone I think, I'm not sure. I have tried to look it up on Pima Maps and it shows in a flood zone, but somebody told me before that this house has never been flooded. That don't mean it's not in a flood zone. It just means it's never been flooded. And this right here is the pool. I can't get in there, but he's drained it already. And he went to get a cover to cover it up. So this is the back of the house. You've got a back door right there. And a back porch. And it's got two heat and cooling systems out here. I'd say one for upstairs and one for downstairs. It's a real cute house. Yeah, it's a really cute little house. It's, I think, 1600 from some square feet. It's in the 16s. Here's a little build that they attach to the side of it. And this is a side that you park on. And there's a driveway and a vehicle. It has a good little lot out here for the dogs, guys, if you want to have animals or something. This one, this little gate right here closes up. So it's a good place for pets. And then right there is where I was. You've got a little side porch that goes out from the laundry room right there. And let's go in. And this, this is your big walk around porch right here. It goes to right there. Okay. See what I say? It needs spray wash bad. And this is the interior. You walk in this door right here. You've got an upstairs going right in the center. Over there will be the dining room. And this right here is the living room. And there's all your ceilings. Okay, we'll walk through here first and go into the kitchen. And here is your kitchen. It's been winterized. You've got a little pantry right here. And there's where your refrigerator goes. And then it goes into that dining room right there. I'll turn it back around. There is your uh, where the microwave goes, and there is an oven. And then here's your kitchen cabinets and sink. Turn around this way, and you've got the little laundry room right here where that little porch was out there. There is the breaker box. And then over here is the water heater. And you've got little cabinets that goes above your washer and dryer. So there's the dryer. Okay, let's, and then here's the ceilings of that, and I'll turn back around and get the kitchen ceilings. 
Okay, now we're gonna walk back through this little hallway. Then right here to your left is a little bathroom. And it's just a little half bath. Okay, and then here's your big dining area. And there's the ceilings of it. Don't see any bad places. Right here is a little crinkled place where the paint is, but that would not hurt financing at all. The vent thing there needs cleaned. There's all your windows. We're gonna walk up these stairs and go up to the upstairs bedrooms. <clears throat> Okay, here is the bathroom. This is a full bath. It's been winterized. And over there is your full shower tub. Okay, and I'll back out and get the ceilings. They all look good. Okay, well, we're gonna turn back to our right and this will be considered a master bedroom right here. There's all your ceilings, beautiful ceilings. That's what you call double wedding band ceiling. Okay, and then in here's your other bathroom. It's got a stand up shower. And there's your ceilings and all that. And your floor and your commode. And then on this side of the bedroom, where you walk in the door here, well right here is a little, where the heat and cooling system is. And over here is, uh, oh, the closet's down here on this end. Okay, and you've got a, <laughs> a vanity right here. And it's got carpet. And there's your ceilings. But over here is your walk-in closet. And then right there is where I was uh, saying it needs sheetrock. That is the only thing that I could figure that would keep this house from going to FHA financing. That needs to be repaired. Okay, let's walk out of here. And right there is the bathroom we just came out of. And we're gonna go, we're gonna, right there is a bad spot in the ceiling. I did not see that, which I don't think that would cause any type of financing. I don't know. It's going to what the appraiser said, I guess. Okay, over here is your, uh, Second bedroom. Turn around this way. And there's your closet to it. And here's your ceilings. Okay, and right here is the closet. Okay, and we're walking out of here to the last bedroom. And here we go. Then here's your walk-in closet in this one. Oh, it's got a cracked window here. I did not see that. It's not all the way through to both sections, but it's got a crack in it. Okay, that's the end of my tour, guys. Bye-bye.